Hi everyone, it's Kim from JustWords.ca again. I'm finally back. I've been crazy busy with the craft season for um, locally here. I do a couple craft shows every Christmas and um, it's just been crazy crazy. I've been way behind and trying to get caught up on everything but thank goodness you can't see my craft room because it is... Ugh, I don't even want to look at it but I'm in here anyway. Um, hopefully while I'm off on Christmas time I can clean it up. Well we have this adorable cute 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 saturated canary image and I am going to color the face first and I always do coral, sun-kissed pink, blush with a little bit of baby pink for the cheeks and I always go dark to light so that's what I'm going to do and she's got her ears poking out here it should go relatively quicker than normal only because she doesn't have tons and tons of hair that I have to try and navigate around and then my sun kissed I want my dogs coming down the stairs to visit she'd been sick today Poor little thing. Didn't even want to eat. And for a lab, that is, you know something's not right. So I've been, got most of my Christmas shopping done. I don't know about the rest of you. Get my pink in here. I really want her to have rosy cheeks. She's skiing. I believe I'm going to use this image for a card swap which is with Kit and Clowder. I signed up for a cute little card swap for this year and hoping, hoping it'll turn out cute enough that I feel good about sending it to somebody. I can't wait to get mine in the mail. I just love getting happy mail and I got a little bit in the eye area here so I'm just going to take I still don't have that pro marker blending pen so I'm using my Copic which I bought used. I don't have very many Copics, but I have a few. So there is her face, and I'm going to go non-traditional colors here. I think I want to go purple and blue. So let me grab my blues. And if you ever want to know how I store my markers, this is it. A big bundle of blues. And then I put all my colors together that way and hope I can find them when I need them. So the colors I'm using, which of course are probably in the middle here, I have Midnight Blue, Powder Blue, and then I'm looking for Denim Blue. It's in here somewhere. Here we are. So those are the colors, and I think I'm going to do their hat first. So uh -uh. it's a little bit of space, so I'm just going to use my bullet nib. I'm not going to use the little one, the ultra fine. Got my denim blue. And we got the powder blue. Don't worry about that little mess up in the ear there. We'll clean that up in a minute. that 
then I'm blue here on the bottom part of that ear. I'm just going to go over top again. My powder blue, blend those two colors together. Okay, and now we got to do the little lip of the hat. Again, I'm also using Nina's Solar White Cardstock, the 80 pound. A lot of people ask me that still. Um, there are many, many different papers depending on where you live. This just happens to be the type that I can get a hold of. And uh, from my city. Well, not even my city. I have to order it online, but I can get it in Canada anyway. But I find, um, I have tried the Copic Express at paper, and because I don't layer three, four times, I don't, um, I find it just takes a lot of work to blend the colors in. And this works a little easier for me. Okay, so... I think I'm going to do her top in the purple, so I'm going to do this little elbow patch in the blues. Again, that was Midnight Blue, Denim Blue and Powder Blue. Okay, now let me grab my purples. Okay, so the purples I'm going to go with today are Plum Purple and orchid I think that's how you say it and of course I'm going to start with the darkest color first and I think I'm just gonna work on this little heart here and I just noticed that that plum isn't quite dark enough for what I want so I think I'm going to change it and go with the aubergine. Let's see how that works. Yeah, I like the darker better. There we are. Okay, so that's the ticket. Aubergine, purple, and orchid. Let's work on our top here. thinking about this a little bit. I'm thinking that I should have went the other way with this shading. Put the dark on this side to the light on the inside. Um, I think if I did that again I would more than likely do it that way. But you know, all's good. You know, this purple. And 
I see I left part of the sweater out here. Oops, lost my cap. Now, I am going to do her hair. It's going to be quite simple, I'm thinking. And I'm going to want, I think I'm going to go with blonde. So I'm going to get my handy dandy mustard as always, buttercup. And instead of raw sienna, I think I'm just going to grab if I can find my browns, of course the bottom of the, the pile here, I'm going to grab cocoa instead of raw sienna, which I normally do. Or you know what might look nice? Cinnamon. Let's just try that. What the heck? Let's try cinnamon, mustard, and buttercup. Just because... I'll lighten it up a little. Let's just see if that works. It's not very... I think it's alright, I guess. I'm just going to turn it here so I can... So this is probably my third or fourth time participating in a card swap and I just love to get cards in the mail. I just think it's so fun and it's great to see other people's lovely work that they do because it's usually completely different than my own just because my cards tend to be plain and I do that for a reason. I want to be able to mail it without having to have a big bulky package or anything like that and uh, to be able to be mailed. So I don't put tons and tons of embellishments on my, my card. So it's fabulous to see others and get them in the mail like that. Anyway, um, I'm going to try walnut cinnamon and sandstone for her ski boots. I don't know about you, but I love getting mail. We get very little mail nowadays. It is getting a little pricey to send anything out. So I participate in these fun, fun swaps. 
I think there was one time it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped. I I know it's all in the giving, but uh, I did spend quite a bit of time on my my item that I sent out, and I didn't receive one back. And the girl thanked me and everything for it, and she loved it apparently, but I don't know, she just didn't send anything. But, again, it's always better to give than to receive. So I'm going to, um, the last time I colored this image, I did gray ski poles, but I think I am going to do them brown. Because you know me, I like to carry the color through. From what I'm using in the in the picture, so in this case, her her boots. I hope I can find some cute purple, some cute purple um paper to go with this. Okay. So I am going to get my ice grays now and my black. I'm going to do the skis black with the bindings black and the little handle in black. So I'm going to get my black ice gray 5 and these areas are fairly small so I'm going to just try and go to my ice gray 1. We'll see how that turns out. You know if I can find it in here somewhere I've probably misplaced it I'm guessing. Well, we'll go with the ice gray too because I don't know what I do with my ice gray one. Okay, so let's do the black. You know, if any of you ever would, while well, we're on the topic of mail, if you ever wanted to send me something that you've created seeing as you watch watch quite often I would love to see it and I could do a video and showcase all your fabulous work only if you're interested you can pop me a message Ultra fine nib working for me here. That was my black. And now I got the ice cream five. And we're gonna get the two because I can't find my one. Either one will work fine. Add a little bit of the darker color to the tip of that ski. Now let's get her bindings here. I think that's what they're called. I think I've skied twice in my lifetime on the bunny hill. I'm more of an ice skater. I played competitive ringette forever, forever and ever. I wish they had hockey, but they did not. For girls when I was growing up, so ringette it was. And um, so I love to skate. Okay, for eye color, I think I'm going to just stick with the blue, seeing as I've got blue in there, but I want to make it a little brighter of a color. So I'm going to go true blue, and I like sky blue. find it here somewhere. Sky blue and then the powder blue. It's just going to pop a little bit more than the color that's in our hat. My husband is making tons of noise. Doing what? I do not know. Okay, powder blue. I'm 
we are. Now I'm kind of torn on the gloves. I could go with the brown, I can go black, or I can go with the blue. I think I'm going to go with the black. Let's, um, I could stay white. I could put the, um, her scarf white too with a little bit of color in the stripes. Huh. That might sound like a plan. And then I have to look in here for a minute for my ice gray. One. Where did it go? No clue. Alright. So let's uh, get my two out then. And my five. Ice gray five. My oh my, um, where are all my colors? I just had them all. I think it's time for me to go to bed. Here we are. I'll cut. And I'm going to go to the two, five, two, and then I'm just going to get that blender pen. Oops, wrong end. And just soften those edges. There we are. I think I like that. Okay, so let's do her scar. A little... Trying to figure out where put my color. For that scarf. And I think I'm going to, because her blue her shirt is right there, I'm gonna put the blue stripes here. And one purple one. Where's that denim? in here. I'm just going to use the two colors and bypass the purple. There's really not much space there. And I'm thinking I need my ice gray. Five. Of course my nibs don't work. And I want to thank you all for the comments of where I can find my nibs. I just, you know, it's never on my mind to shop for that because it's, a, again, an online item that I have to get. And until I'm right in desperate need, I will purchase them. They're just very, very pricey. Okay, so I think I'm just going to... that and then I'm going to get my denim blue and put a few of those and I just see I got a little too much on here that I don't want so I'm just going to get my blender pen to push it out there we go so how cute did she turn out I think so adorable I'm going to add a little bit of glitter and maybe some white dots here and there and then put this one on a card and hopefully the recipient of my card swap enjoys it. I just noticed I'm a little out of the lines here. Can't leave it alone. Gotta fix it. And uh, hopefully she enjoys the card that I send her way. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to have a few more and a little sooner than the last time a couple more images your way. Have a great day. Take care.